So you're just getting into coding or you're thinking about going to coding bootcamp and you keep hearing about text editors and IDEs, but you don't know where to start. In this video, we're gonna talk about Repolit and CodePen, which are two browser IDEs and we're gonna compare them. Welcome back to my channel. This is Darian with Darian the Dev. And if you're into tech, entrepreneurship, coding, startups, anything like that, make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. That's all we talk about here in this channel. So like I said in the intro, we're gonna talk about the comparison between Repolit and CodePen for browser IDEs when you're first starting out coding. And we're gonna talk about the pros and the cons and which one I like better. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump over to my computer and we'll get right into it, all right? So really quickly, this is an example of CodePen. This is just a really old one that I have from some years ago when I was first making websites. So I think this is great for if you're starting out with web development or if you're looking to go into like a front-end coding bootcamp where you know that you wanna build websites and you wanna just learn HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, because that's pretty much all you can do here on CodePen. So you can change the view, you can set it to be full page where you see all this right here, or you can go back to your editor where you see you have all your sections. So I think this is good, like I said, to just go in here and, and to just write code and get a, an idea of what it looks like in, in real time. So for example, if I was to like, just get rid of all this right now and click run, you guys will see that everything goes away. All right, now if we go over here and we hop into Repolit, this is the one that I'm gonna recommend because I think it does what CodePen does, but a lot more. And it just is a more realistic workflow for somebody trying to learn software development or somebody trying to really move into using IDEs and text editors in a more practical way. So Repolit, like I said, you can do a lot of the similar things. If we go up here to like my Repels, for example, um, we looked at the ones that I have. So we can see that like I have a landing page here that is set up very similarly to like how I had it on CodePen. So I could even open this in a new tab and you guys can see it full screen. So I could have taken this same exact code from Repolit. This is all my HTML. I could have put this into a CodePen. Um, and then same thing with the, the CSS, I can put this into a code pin and then the JavaScripts, which there is none, I could put that into a code pin as well. And then I could run this same exact website in code pin um, as I can right here inside of Repolit. But the difference with, with Repolit that I like a lot is if we go back here and we go to a new REPL, you can see that there's so many languages here that we can pick from. And I think this is where the biggest value of Repolit comes into play because number one, it's free, just like CodePen is also free, but I just think you get so much more versatility and room to grow and learn and experiment and code with things when you're using Repolit because of all these different languages and templates that already come out of the box with Repolit. So again, um, you can actually download packages into Repolit. Uh, Repolit. This is an actual Ruby application, guys, that I started um, a while ago. And we can see like I have Ruby code in here. Um, I can do pretty much anything I was going to do on my machine. I can do inside of Repolit. And it's really awesome because, um, again, which without having to manage all the dependencies and versions on your actual machine, if you don't feel comfortable doing that yet, or even playing around with packages and things like that, um, it's very easy to do all that right within Repolit, including version control, which we have right here as well, too. So you can easily hook this up to a repository and you guys can see like previous commit messages here and everything once you actually connect to your GitHub through Repolit, where you can see all the commits and you can also push and commit from Repolit. So it almost works no different than an IDE or text editor that you would have on your machine. You can even add databases in here, which I think is incredible. So you can basically build your entire application, no matter what language or stack you're using right here inside of Repolit, which I personally think the Repolit is probably the very best IDE that you can use online or in the browser. If you're not going to use like a VS Code or Visual Studio or something like that, I would highly, highly recommend, especially if you're in coding bootcamp or you're just starting out with coding or you're just finishing coding bootcamp and you're just trying to get ready for jobs and you want to play around with a bunch of different languages, I would highly recommend using Repolit and just creating a bunch of different Repolits and trying out different languages and different things. So I'm currently editing the video that y'all are watching and I just realized that I didn't shoot an outro. So 
If you guys find this video helpful at all, make sure you guys leave me some comments down below. Let me know if you guys are in coding bootcamp or if you guys have played with these before, if you have any other IDEs you guys use like Cloud9. I love chatting up with you guys. Also, check out the description box down below for my free intro to coding bootcamp course. Got everything in there I wish I knew before I went to coding bootcamp and it's completely free. Only cost your email address, so make sure you guys check that out. Also, if you guys find this helpful, Leave me a like, share, and subscribe, you guys. It really helps me stay motivated to put this content out for you guys. This is Darian with Darian the Dev. I'll see you guys next video, all right? Peace.